How's she going, eh? We got a uh, we got to put a trailer hitch on my 2014 Patriot. I did the wiring the other day. If you buy a wiring kit from Amazon or something, they work pretty well. They have decent enough instructions. You know, you want to be like a little mechanically minded, but you certainly don't need to be an expert. Here's the hitch I bought. I think it was like 120 bucks from Amazon. You know, delivered to the door with the hardware. The, the welds are pretty scabby. Look at that. Scabby weld. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's better than I could do with my horrible little shitty welder. And this vehicle's only rated to pull, I think, 2,000 pounds anyway. Here's that wiring. There's the, the number or whatever. All right, so first things first, we gotta take these bolts off on each side. Seven millimeter. So just grab those two screws on this side and two on the other. We got four of these clips. There's one right here. There's one, one here, one here, and one on the. Actually, there's more than four. Looks like there's at least six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like six. Six clips. Two on the end. And four along here. So six total. We're gonna to pull those out. If you got a tool like this, probably the easiest way. You gotta pull these tabs out first. And then, and then you can go underneath and pull them out. If they come apart, you can put them back together. It's not rocket surgery just you don't want to push it all the way down until you put them back in so. This clip's pretty ugly. Does not want to come out. So it's actually looks like it's gonna be a better idea to just take the whole bumper off. So what that entails is there's one more screw. Sorry, two more screws on each side. So now you're gonna be taking off four screws on each side. So one, two, and then you're going to take off this one as well and then there's one pointed upward right here and then also there's clips along here one two three four five you need to take out that screw and that additional screw up there and then the whole bumper will slide back and you can see how this sort of fits in there it actually slides into these two tabs right here so it just it pulls backwards off of the car and the foam and everything and you need to make sure the six clips are off the bottom one two three four five six four screws one two three four one 
two, three, four, and then the five clips on the top. One, two, three, four, five. And then I also took these clips off, which I believe you need to do as well. This one clip right here. I don't know if you need to take this off or not on each side, so you can try just taking all the rest of them off and see if the bumper will come off. It very well might. Okay, we gotta drop this exhaust. Jesus. You see these holes right here? These are your holes for mounting. Huh? You see? You see? Okay. Let's see here. There we go. These little rubber baby buggy bumpers actually kind of hold this up while you install it. So hard to see it, but there's our bolt. A little guy sticking out there. So obviously we just need to put these nuts on those bolts. Also, you need to put your uh, clips back up on your muffler so you can push your muffler back up onto those rubber clips on both sides. Alright, so now we need to cut some of the, out of this bump out of this bumper. So it looks like we're 12 inches, so... There's six inches, two and a quarter, so we'll go...
All right, so once you uh, cut your groove out, you can slide your bumper back on and put all your clips back in. One, two, three, four, five, and then your four screws. One here. This guy, that guy, that guy. This panel's gotta be on the inside of the bumper, not on the outside. So this piece here needs to go back on the inside. Same thing over here. So, we're good. We got our hitch now. If you uh, enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Click the bell. Click whatever you wanna click. Just click, double click, double click the screen. Just do it. Do it right now, I'll wait. You probably just minimize the video or something. Anyway, that's it. So, thanks for stopping by. See you on the next one.